been? Guess what? It's vlog 34. Maybe. I don't know. And uh, we're back to the old standard things now. So, what's we weight and COVID status? Eleven stone seven. But to be fair, I had a hell of a lot of carbs this week. Um, but positive, negative test because it was ne negative. It's a positive test because it's negative. It's not positive because it's positive. It's positive because it's negative. Well, the weight's gone up a little bit, but not a lot. But having said that, about an hour after weighing myself, I had a wee, and it just went on and on and on and on and on. So I probably lost about, I don't know, five pounds of wee. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Covid, obviously, a uh, negative result because it was positive, or positive result, no, positive result because it was negative, which is what we, uh, what we need in life. And, so Boris and co are uh, making things a bit stricter now, but it might be too little too late already. Having said that, I think uh, the hospitals might have a lot of pressure took off them because they face masks. Uh, we didn't have any flu last year, if you remember. Uh, so that might be a good thing. Maybe. A cat that's mad. I say mad. Uh, she got a present, which infuriated me because I didn't get a present. And um, she also um, got a new toy. Uh, the new toy, you will not believe what it is. She chose it herself. Mad. You buy the cat toys and she ends up playing with a pen from a betting shop. I don't even know where that's got here. I'll be honest. Yeah, it was a pen, a pen. Uh, she's also done other things that are a bit mad as well. We've still got the uh, ongoing saga of the shop as well, which is infuriating because no one's telling us anything. But there is a meeting on Wednesday, a council meeting, so I'm going to go to that and see if I can actually find out what is going on. I know I won't agree with it, but at least to find out what's going on, I've got a chance of being able to do something. Haven't we learned about vaccines that we need not to hoard them ourselves. Just because we can afford to buy them doesn't mean we should buy them. Because, well, let's be honest, we're already vaccinated and it turns out that you still need loads of other vaccinations to go with the vaccination. So wouldn't it be easier to vaccinate countries that aren't vaccinated? It's just so that there's less chance of a major event coming like a new variant rather than just hoarding and hoarding and buying all the vaccines. It's not just us, it's America as well. Talking of not just us, it's America as well. Uh, going on about um, shortages of supplies and things to uh, shops and hotels and everything else. And people are going mad about it. Oh, Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. Hmm. In America, it's exactly the same. And I don't think Brexit has got anything to do with America or what's going on in their supply chain. At least I think not. Mind you, I don't know. So maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. I think that's it for today, um, this week. Don't forget though, we can watch. I've done some filming. Um, it's not up yet, but I've done some filming in uh, Chorley, uh, which was interesting, and that'll be up soon, uh, as well as a few other bits and pieces as well. So I'll be editing and putting that up in the next couple of days. So uh, thanks for watching, if you still are. And uh, all being well, we'll see you again next time. Until then, bye!